Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, real quickly, I want to give you a little Friday encouragement. Uh, we are coming up this Sunday. Uh, it's going to be our last Sunday in the, in the It's Complicated series. We spent the last six weeks looking at uh, the, how to make a, a godly relationships, how to build new relationships, sustain lifelong relationships, uh, using the RAM series by Dr. John Van Epps. And, and I, I, I just heard a lot of feedback. A lot of people have really enjoyed it. Man, I've enjoyed preparing for it. And uh, um, a lot of great conversations are happening in small groups. And it's just been neat to see kind of the momentum that's been uh, happening through it. Uh, a couple things. One is, as we come to the end of this series, uh, I want to remind you just of two resources. Uh, Dr. Van Epps actually has a couple books out uh, for married couples. There's this one. It's called uh, Becoming uh, Better Together. Uh, it'd be something that if you're a married couple and you want a little bit more information on um, uh, want another book to read through as a couple to, to continue to grow together, that, that'd be a great resource, Becoming Better Together. The other one is for singles. And that's a little bit bigger book, but it's How to Avoid Falling in Love with a Jerk. And uh, it's got some really good stuff in it. Uh, I've been reading through parts of it, uh, preparing for some of these messages. And uh, re really good stuff, specifically for single people. So those are two resources that I want to uh, put your way. And if you're interested, let us know. We can get them to you. Or uh, I think you can find some of them online. Go to Amazon. Um, but also, I wanted to mention that this Sunday... Uh, we're going to be looking at touch and, uh, you know, uh, touch within friendships, but also touch within marriage, which we're going to talk about sexual touch. And so um, one is, given the topic, there might be some things that we talk about in the service that maybe you're not ready to talk with your child about. And so for the 9 o'clock and the 1030, I'd encourage you to take your kids to um, either children's kids ministry, or if you have a middle school student, or Kip's going to be available in the in the student center, especially for nine o'clock uh, and ten thirty. But we normally don't have middle school or elementary for the nine o'clock, but we are this week, um, and uh, so that way you can take your kids if you're coming to the nine. Um, so anyway. Uh, you know, you might be sitting there, why do we got to talk about this stuff in, in church? Well, our culture screams this stuff at us, and we need a place where we can talk about God's design for it. And so we're going to talk about it this weekend for a little bit, but we'll do it in a, in a God-honoring and somewhat humorous way. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, um, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys there. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.